the father of Marco Sosnicki, known to all of us as Prototype White. And this is a very interesting opportunity to be able to kind of peer inside the mind of the parent of a League of Legends pro player, or uh, one on the journey to becoming one, rather. So I want to pick your brain a little bit. I, I, you know, we all, I'm sure a lot of people at home want to know what little Marco was like. When did he get involved with video games? And, you know, when did you kind of see that sparkle in his eyes around the computer? Well, actually, his first game he played was uh, pinball on a uh, Windows 95, actually, in 2000, I mean, 2000, I mean, 1997. So when he was like two years and three months. And, you know, from then, you know, he played various uh, video games like educational, and he always had access to a computer. So that's what we have, the results of it. Now, what were, were the conversations like, though, later in life when he became involved with games like League of Legends and it was, you know, kind of came to be that, wow, he's good enough to play at the pro level. You know, what, what are the discussions like from a parent's end who is concerned with making sure their child has a secure future? Well, actually, I always pay attention to how much he plays the video games and uh, I kind of stress the, stress the importance of education. So. The deal was, as long as you keep up your grades, you can play your video games. And that was pretty much until he turned 18. Once he turned 18, well, you know, I say the same thing. You go to college and then you keep playing to actually earn some profession. Now, if your profession is going to be a video games, you have to, you know, have something in your back pocket in case of. And that's we, where we left off. So that's why he negotiated his deals to actually play or at least have opportunity to play as a um, professional or ent entry to a professional team. So I was fully for it. All right, so the terms of the parental endorsement have been decided upon and agreed. Uh, one final question. As, as, as a parent, when you're sitting here in the audience, I know my parents struggle to understand the game. H have you made the, you know, the effort to really g dive into League of Legends and, and figure out what, you know, what this game is? Well, actually, I uh, you know, looked into the game and tried to find out what it is about and be so addictive to play. And I actually read a thesis which one of the uh, students for a master's degree wrote about this game or a game about the strategy that is utilized in this uh, game of League of Legends. And so it was kind of eye-opening for me that you can actually handle so much information in a very, very short time. And so it's almost um, kind of gives me a idea of uh, this is a thriving on chaos because that's the only thing you see is like controlled chaos on a screen, on a screen. And in the real life, some of the businesses are like that. So I see that as a you know big opportunity for anybody who is actually involved in this game. Well, there's been a ton of chaos in these three games specifically. Uh, your son is off to a great start, 2-1 in the series, so almost there. Wish him the best of luck. want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me. We are going to toss it to a quick break, and then we'll be back with Game 4 between Team Final 5 and Team Fusion. <laughs> 